quail is one of those things that many of you probably would order at a restaurant but never cook at home. Well, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do at home. I'm going to barbecue it on a grill pan and serve it with a gorgeous sweet and sour French style sauce. So we need to prep the quail. So they're very tiny and it's very easy to do. You can cook them whole or if you're going to barbecue them, we're going to spatchcock them or butterfly them. So using some sharp scissors, we want to take off the backbone. So you can turn it over and with sharp scissors, you'll see it just goes straight through the bones. And just like you were doing a chicken, because it's the same style anatomy of the chicken, we're going to take that out. So it's very easy to do. Then we just want to flatten it. And I'll just use a bit of paper towel to flatten it like this so I can also dry it off too. Now these little wing tips can burn as it grills. So we just want to take them off. So cut straight through the cartilage. And the second one. And then that is ready for the barbecue or the grill pan. So they don't take long at all, four to five minutes on each side. So I'm going to cook two in my grill pan. We'll lay them out. A little salt and oil. So a good pinch of salt so we get that gorgeous crispy skin. And we'll do that on the other side too, just making sure that everything is salted. And I'll cook these skin side down. A nice hot grill. Lovely. Okay, so while they're cooking, we can get on to this beautiful sauce. So we need to start by making a caramel. So caster sugar into a small pot. We'll just tip that in. And now we just need to wait for this to melt away. So you'll see the process of the caramel. It'll start to liquefy and then it'll change colour. We want that gorgeous golden colour before we add the vinegar. So you can see that this caramel has changed colour, it's golden brown, so we want to halt the cooking of it and that's when we add the vinegar. And you see that it'll start turning to toffee and there'll be little clumps in there but you just want to jiggle it around and let that bubble away for a bit and it will eventually melt down. I've also turned over the quail, you see that they're crispy on one side and we're going to cook them for a further four to five minutes on the other side. We need some orange zest in this sauce. So the zest of about half of this. I like the freshness of the orange in this sauce. So the juice also, this is a really large orange, so I'll only need half of this orange and we'll squeeze that in. So you want to turn the heat up at this stage and get it bubbling away. You want all those flavours to mingle. And just to make it a bulkier sauce, the addition of some chicken stock, so a splash and then we just have to be patient and allow that to bubble away, reduce by a third and I'll finish it off with a little butter. Quail are cooked perfectly, I love that caramelisation and this sauce has reduced, you can see all of that caramel has mixed in with the vinegar, the chicken stock and the orange. Now to thicken it up, I like to add some cold butter. We're going to whisk this in. I'm also going to add some Chinese five spice. Definitely not traditional in French cooking, but I do love it for this. So just a little hint of that. And then we'll start with one knob of butter. Now you want the butter to be cold because if it's too hot, it melts too fast. We want it to hold its shape and little by little melt in and that'll help thicken the sauce. It's going to give it that gorgeous silky sheen that we're after. All right, that's exactly where I need it to be. So we'll turn off the heat and plate up. I'm serving this with some mashed potato. You can serve it with whatever you like. Roast spuds too is fantastic. And we'll just pop that quail on top of the mash. Just let it sit there, squish it down a bit. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. And our gorgeous sauce, just drizzle that over the top. Yes, that is going to be very nice. The last thing I like to add is some fresh chives. Gather them up and just finely chop them as thin as you can get them. Just for a little mild onion flavour is what I'm after here. Small handful and on it goes around the plate. There you go. It's a simple dish. You could serve it as an entree. I find one quail is enough for a maid, but if you're really hungry, why not have two?